students welcome to my channel agriculture engineering online in the continuation of the solution of the gate paper 2018 agriculture engineering let us solve a problem from uh, the section of uh, soil and water conservation the question number 42 the question says a permanent matured orchard has a tree spacing of 4 meter into 5 meter Each tree has a shading area of 40% to be irrigated with the pigtail pattern multi-axis drip emitters. The effective weighting geometry of each emitter is 2 meter by 2 meter. The emitters have discharge constant and exponent of 0.3 and 0.6 respectively. The coefficient of variation of emitter discharge is 0.06. The average and minimum operating pressure are 120 kilopascal and 100 kilopascal respectively. The emission uniformity of the emitter is how much percent? Basically, you have to find out the emission uniformity of the deep irrigation system as a block. So, let us first uh, discuss about what is uh, deep irrigation system. Deep irrigation system is specially uh, small uh, emitters are there. Actually, a uh, pressure is maintained, and uh, uh, actually the deep irrigation is done at the uh, root zone. Level or you can can say in this case uh, this is uh, shading area. This is the shading area. You can see this is shading area of, which is 40 percent of the tree area. A uh, tree spacing is 4 uh, meter by 4, 5 meter. So basically, what is emission uniformity? Emission uniformity expressed as a percentage. So basically, this is you can see here it is asked in percentage. So you have to find out this percentage. So it is a relative index of the variability between e emitters in an irrigation block. If it, uh, the or orchard uh, crop, uh, orchard crop uh, is irrigated as a block, so basically a system is developed and uh, it is irrigated as a whole uh, garden. So let us see. So let us see. This is uh, uh, orchard garden. Let it. So orchard crops are there. Number of uh, trees are there, and a tree spacing. Uh, basically, tree. Uh, in the row and to the uh, another tree there is a spacing so basically it is called the a tree has a particular spacing of uh, if this is a tree so another tree will not be inside this area so this tree spacing will 4 meter by 5 meter let it so 4 by 5 meter is the tree spacing so emission uniformity uh, so whenever uh, it is irrigated with a certain pressure in the pipe And there are number of emitters uh, involved in that uh, root zone area. So basically, uh, some shaded area, or we can say the uh, root zone area is irrigated through the uh, deep irrigation system, or you can say deep emitters are there. Number of emitters uh, depending on the area. So in this case, uh, maybe one or two or may many number of uh, uh, emitters will be there at the root zone of the tree. Each tree, each tree has number of emitters. We will calculate how much. Uh, A number of uh, emitters are there. On that basis, we will find out. Basically, emission uniformity is defined as the average discharge of 25 percent of the sample emitters. If there are number of emitters are there in the uh, whole irrigation block, uh, then uh, 25 percent is sampled, and uh, with that uh, least discharge is find out, which is and then divided by the average discharge uh, of all the sampled emitters. That is called the Uh, emission uniformity uh, in the percentage. Uh, if it's less, uh, it's not good. But it's high, it's better. Okay. So let us uh, solve. Uh, try to solve this uh, simple problem. Okay. So first of all, the plant area or tree to tree spacing is given five meter by four meter. So that's why each tree has a certain area. It's a twenty square meter of area. Each tree occupies in the garden. Let us. It is also said 40 percent of area or shaded area. You can say shaded area means the area which has to be irrigated, which uh, has the root zone. Root zone requires water, so that has to be irrigated mostly in the case of deep irrigation system, where actually efficiency is uh, more because only water is given to the zones where actually water is required. All that whole system is not uh, required to be irrigated. That's why it is uh, saving of water, so uh, less water is used. So 40% area to be irrigated. That means how much area is to be irrigated for each plant? That is 0.4 means 40% into 20 square meter is the each uh, uh, tree occupies. So that's why 
eight square meter has to be irrigated for each tree. It's very simple. Then each emitter wetting area is given. Single emitter can uh, wet up to area of two meter by two meter. We, uh, it's a average one. So basically, uh, each area, uh, each emitter will uh, wet the area or it irrigate the area for square meter. Therefore, for each tree, there will be uh, n or number of emitters required. For each tree, will be equal to eight square meter is required to be irrigated. You would say four meter square for each emitter. Therefore, eight by four will be two. Number of emitters is two. That it. Now you have to find out the emission uniformity. For emission uniformity, what are the given? First is the pressure. The pressure of the uh, system, uh, minimum pressure and maximum pressure has to be find out so that we can find out the discharge. So because discharge and pressure are correlated, therefore discharge is very important at each uh, uh, emitters. So emitter discharge depends on the pressure of the system. Therefore, there is a minimum pressure. Even if 100 kilopascal and average pressure of the system is 120 kilopascal is given, and uh, also for the uh, discharge of the uh, emitters, there are certain uh, coefficients. So there is discharge coefficient depending on the uh, nozzle and other things, uh, the parameters of the construction. Like uh, uh, so, discharge coefficient is 0.3 is given in the problem. Also, the exponent on uh, the discharge. There is equation, empirical equation, on which the there is exponent that also is given as 0.6, and also the coefficient of variation for the total whole irrigation block is given as 0.06. So it's these are the things given. Now calculate the minimum uh, discharge and max uh, average discharge. So first uh, there is a, a equation for the minimum discharge or Q is equal to KD into P to the power x, where actually P is the pressure, KD is the discharge coefficient. And x is the exponent, which is given 0.6 in this case. Therefore, minimum um, discharge in the emitter will be equal to 0.3 kD. Uh, 100 is the kilopascal minimum pressure, so minimum discharge. So this is 100 to the power 0.6. So that will be equal to 4.755 liter per hectare. So this is the empirical equation depending on that. So this is the discharge in the uh, if kilopascal is the pressure, then discharge will be this much in liter per hectare. Uh, sorry, liter per hour. Next is the uh, average uh, discharge. So average discharge, similarly the same formula. So in this, uh, instead of minimum pressure, it will be average pressure. So uh, putting that one, you can find out the average uh, discharge uh, from the emitter will be 0.3 to 120 uh, to the power 0.6. That will be equal to 5.304. So just uh, remember uh, liter per hour. So that this is the um, this is uh, more pressure, so more discharge is there. So that's why. The discharge is dependent on the pressure. Now coming to the uh, emission uh, uh, efficiency, or you can say emission uniformity. So emission uniformity equation. There is empirical equation which is equal to U is equal to 100 into 1 minus 1.27 CV. CV is already given. That is the coefficient of variation in the whole block and uh, divided by square root of n. N is number of emitters. Actually, uh, either the number of emitters or depending on the uh, construction of the whole irrigation block, it's defined. In this case, n is given. Uh, there is two, and Q mean uh, minimum uh, discharge and average discharge is already calculated. So, on the basis of that, putting into this equation. So, let us put this equation in uh, this uh, uh, in this equation. All the values uh, it's already uh, given or uh, calculated. This n is equal to also calculated, and uh, uh, this discharge Q mean and Q average is already dis uh, discussed. So that's why putting all the values together, so there is U will be 100 into 1 minus 1.27, 0.06 by root 2, uh, uh, 4.755 by 5.304. Then you can calculate its uh, the in percentage. There is emission uniformity will be 84.818 percent. Therefore, this is the uniformity uh, emission uniformity for this problem of, of uh, drip irrigation system. Then this is the answer. I hope you get the answer and understand this. Please like and subscribe to this channel.